Well, I think his history is a very important thing to society because I think actually it is the least artificial of all of the disciplines that we understand ourselves uh, historically. We say we, we were born, we went to school, a variety of things. These we think explain us when we meet someone. Uh, we don't necessarily give the whole story, but piece by piece, step by step. But I think that we live in a world uh, in which the three major religions and maybe others I know less about are all historical. They have a historical text <laughs> as their basis. And that's partly what um, uh, not just the West, but parts that are not, not the West uh, have. So I think the first reason to study history is it seems to be an inherent quality of being human is to tell stories tell stories about ourselves, tell stories about those with whom we're associated with, or for that matter, uh, those with whom we're in conflict with. And we have then stories, admittedly often stories that justify, and that's one of the real problems that, and why history as a discipline is a little different than just our memories and our stories in that is it is, it is empirically based. It is, it is based upon the search of primary documents that can uh, uh, that require interpretation and a kind of set of, um, of real, real honesty in dealing with those things. So that, that's the first thing I would say why history is essentially important. I think it is, it is a little bit different than all the other disciplines in that it is a natural act, so to speak. Um, I think also uh, history, uh, because I mean, well, maybe I'll put it this way. Um, every president, for instance, is very anxious <laughs> to know how history will treat them. Trist, history, even before it's written, can be a kind of judge. Um, public figures, and actually other people as well, but public figures have to think about, and they do, they're constant. They uh, are anxious to know how history will remember them.